Each year we wait for the new Galaxy phone from Samsung and a bit later for the new Note series device. The ninth iteration packs the best of Samsung in a familiar shape and form and the price. While there are many opinions on how much consumers should pay for a smartphone, in this video I will cover all the pros and cons of the Galaxy Note 9 so you can make a buying decision yourself. As I said in my initial review, nothing has really changed much in terms of design. You get the same glass and aluminum construction that feels sturdy and makes the phone look and feel premium, just like any other Samsung flagship phone. What makes the Note 9 stand out from any other phone is the S Pen. As usual, Samsung claims it's better than ever and, well, it might be true. Now the S Pen doubles as a programmable Bluetooth remote control that can open apps like camera, help you take pictures, switch between main and selfie shooters, start or pause music, remotely swipe photos in the gallery, and so on. I can tell you, these are not just gimmicky features, they are very useful in practice, especially if you love taking selfies with the 8 megapixels autofocus camera. Besides that, my favorite S Pen features include the ability to take a note while the display is off, select anything on the display, write on it, highlight the text almost in any app, or handwrite with a pen instead of typing. These are just a few examples how I use the S Pen. The main difference from last year's model is the size of the battery that performs really well. Despite a larger battery pack, the Note 9 is almost the same as the Note 8 in terms of thickness and the overall footprint, which is really impressive. I've tried to push the battery to the limits and I could get about 10 hours of screen on time. However, that was my best result and you should expect to get about 6 or 8 hours of SOT, depending on the usage. It takes 1 hour and 49 minutes to fully charge the phone with a supply charger, which is kind of good but definitely not the best result out there. Just like all Samsung flagships, the Note 9 supports wireless charging feature. The display is huge and it's definitely one of the best panels you can get on any phone. You can easily see it even under direct sunlight, it's super sharp and vibrant. The Galaxy Note 9 has a dual camera system. Both sensors are optically stabilized. The first camera has a variable aperture lens and is used to take regular photos, and other camera helps you take pictures with 2x optical zoom and portrait shots with blurred background. More on camera quality a bit later in this video. The fingerprint scanner is very fast and accurate, but it may take a few days for you to get used to the position of it. I wish it was implemented a bit lower. You can also use face unlock and iris scanner that work simultaneously to unlock the phone. It works really well, although this method of unlocking is not the fastest I've seen. Bixby still has a dedicated button and while it's improved, it's still not great. Tell me in the comment section how often do you use Bixby and if you like it. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby, why are you so slow to open? I need zero apps to continue. Yeah, can you show me McDonald's around me? I need zero apps to continue. Other features you need to know. The phone has a headset jack that provides excellent audio quality, there is a notification LED light, IP68 certification means that the device is water and dust resistant, and the heart rate monitor helps you take care of your health. My phone also has a hybrid dual SIM card slot. Finally, dual stereo speaker setup is very good as the sound is balanced and clear. Here is an audio sample. As usual, the Note series brings the best specs available on the market. You can go up to 512GB of internal storage and up to 8GB of RAM. If you add another 512GB microSD card, you're looking at a 1TB phone, which is just insane. 
Samsung now implemented the so-called water carbon cooling system to prevent the phone from overheating and to assure the best gaming experience. Therefore, you can rest assured that all the latest 3D games will just fly on this device. After about 30 minutes of gaming, the phone didn't heat up to uncomfortable levels, which is great. When it comes to the user interface, you should expect to have a typical Samsung experience, which is the official name of the skin that is built on top of Android 8.1. As usual to Samsung, there are a lot of features and customization options. You can choose from plenty of themes, icons, and even a huge collection of always-on displays. I also like the edge screen and the ability to customize the display in a lot of different ways. Well, I didn't use all the advanced features this phone has, but my favorites are the split-screen mode that lets you run two apps side by side and fingerprint gesture that opens up a notification shade. Overall, the Note 9 is a very fast device no matter what you do with it. Well, if you pay 1000 bucks for your phone, it better be fast. Just before we talk about the image quality, I always upload high-resolution camera samples on my Facebook page and all the links are down below. The camera app on the Note 9 is just like on any other Samsung flagship. That means you get quite a few shooting modes and the app is very fast and responsive. The overall image quality is one of the best you can get on any phone. Pictures come out sharp, detailed, colors are very accurate and dynamic range is excellent. Really impressive overall performance. Portrait mode may not always be perfect, but you can definitely get some nice pictures with blurred background. Low light image quality is again one of the best in the industry as the noise is kept to minimum and the level of detail is quite decent. Selfies look really nice and sharp too. Also, selfie portrait mode does a good job separating subject from the background. 4K video that is shot at 60 frames per second looks really nice and sharp and there is plenty of detail. Easily one of the best if not the best video quality from your phone. Also, you can use 2 times optical zoom while you're recording your video which is really neat. Ten eighty p video also looks nice and 2K resolution selfie footage is plenty sharp and detailed. Finally, sound recording quality is very good. 2K resolution video and that's the maximum resolution this phone can shoot videos. Slow motion video looks quite good, but I suggest you making sure the object is in focus before you start recording the video. As always, check out uncut video samples on the Techline HD Extras YouTube page. If you want to transform your Note 9 or basically any other phone into a powerful tool that lets you take awesome 360 pictures and live tours, I can highly recommend the ice tagging and say thanks for sponsoring this video. If you sign up to ice tagging, you will receive your equipment free of charge, a rotator and a 720 degree lens that attaches to any smartphone. Both devices are well made and they come with everything you need to get started. All you have to do is download the VR Maker app, log in, turn on the rotator, clip your 720 degree lens on your phone, connect the rotator via the Bluetooth and you're good to go. This combo allows you to easily create 360 VR tours of any space and I was amazed by how seamlessly everything works thanks to great software. Everything's done automatically for you after you click a shutter button. In fact, you can capture up to 8K resolution images, which is quite impressive. Within the app, you can create your live tours, view the pictures you took, edit, share, and so on. Even though this is not being advertised by the company, you can also use the rotator to record smooth 4K videos, select different rotating speeds, or even capture super wide-angle pictures with a nice lens effect. These are just a few features the ice tagging has to offer and so far this system has been really fun to play with. Make sure to check out the video description for all the links if you're interested. Connectivity wise, the Note 9 is simply flawless. Both SIM card slots support 4G meaning that signal reception and call quality have been great. GPS is very accurate and other connectivity options work very well. The phone also has Bluetooth 5, NFC and all the sensors you will ever need on a smartphone. 
I always summarize pros and cons of each phone in the conclusions of the video, but to be honest, it's not that easy to find many flaws with a Note 9. Well, if you pay 1000 bucks, you hope there won't be any. Well, I could complain about Bixby still being half-baked, the fingerprint sensor could be implemented a bit lower, but that's just nitpicking. Oh, dear Samsung, users usually ask you to update your phones faster, I mean, much faster. Besides that, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is the most complete and feature-packed smartphone the money can buy at the moment. If you pull the trigger and shell out a thousand bucks for a phone, at least you'll feel confident that you have one of the best smartphones on the market. But what do you guys think about the Note 9? Would you buy this phone or would you choose another device? As always, use the comment section down below, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.